Hey guys, Chris from Adapt to Vision here, and in this video, I am going to show you the solution for question 1 from the May 2013 POA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so as per usual, we're going to take a read of the information before we jump into doing the question. So it says Connect is a retailer of mobile phones. All of its revenue comes from a percentage of the sales value of very berry mobile phones, which it delivers to customers' homes and workplaces. So you see where it says all of its revenue comes from a percentage of sales? That's commission revenue or sales commissions. At the end of the financial year, 31st Jan 2012, the following balances were presented. So let's take a look at this table. We have capital, 88,000, delivery van at cost, 60,000, provision for depreciation on the van of 12,000, a bank balance of 121,400, sales commissions received, 115,500, and sales commissions outstanding, 14,100. So remember what the question told us, that all of its revenue comes from a percentage of sales of the value of the mobile phones, which it sells its customers. So these are the commissions I was talking about. Now, the amount received is literally that, the dollar value actually received by Connect. The sales commissions outstanding, those are the amounts it has earned but has yet to receive. So in other words, this figure here of 14.1, this is accrued revenue. And what do we do with accrued, accrued balances at end? We add them to this figure here, right? But we'll see that in the income statement. Next, we have rent of 13.3 and rent owing of 3,000. So that's an accrued expense, which is going to be added together to the this figure here to get the income statement figure. Next, we have insurance of 7,100 and insurance prepaid of 1,800. So if we add accruals, we do the opposite to prepayment. So we're going to subtract this 1,800, the prepaid amount from the insurance figure that was actually paid. Then we have delivery expenses, 11.5, sales men's wages, 46.7, Five-year bank loan fifty thousand, loan interest fifty-five, and we have one more note down here, which says that the business calculates annual depreciation expense at a rate of twenty percent on the reducing balance basis. So that's going to come in handy. Let's take a look at the requirement, shall we? So it says using the information provided, prepare for Connect an income statement for the year ended thirty-first Jan twenty twelve and the classified balance sheet as at that date. So again, they were still using certain terms back in 2013, such as balance sheet and fixed assets and these things. But because, of course, we have moved on from those terms, we will be using the more recent terms, such as statement of financial position and non-current assets and these things. Okay, so let's get that income statement started. All right, so as per usual, please remember to head up. Name of the entity, name of the statement, period to which it applies, and put your currency signs. So the first thing we're going to put, of course, is the revenue. So of course, don't forget, it was sales commissions, and we, we're adding the 115.5 and the 14.1 to get 129.6. Why are we adding these two figures? Well, remember, back in the list of balances across here, the sales commissions received, that was the 115.5, and we had sales commissions outstanding or accrued of 14.1. And we add accrued balances onto the figures, the, the cash book figures or the received figures. So that's why we're adding these two figures here. Okay, there were no other revenues, so we could go straight to the expenses section. So the first expense I'm seeing across here is the rent and rent owing. So we have an accrued portion to rent. So of course, we know just like with the revenue, we have to add that together to the figure above. So you're going to see here rent, 13,003 plus 3,000, giving us 16,003. Next, we have insurance and insurance prepaid. So prepaid figures are paid in advance and therefore need to be subtracted to find the income statement figure. So what we're going to see across in the income statement side, the expense section, is you're going to see 7,100 minus 1,800, and that gives us 5,300. So that's the actual insurance expense. Okay, the next few items, I'm just going to highlight all. Now, delivery expenses, salesman's wages, and loan interest are expenses, not the five-year bank loan. So we are simply going to insert those figures, delivery expenses, salesman's wages, and loan interest wholesale as they are. And now let's talk about the depreciation. So if we take a look at the note that they gave us here at the bottom, it says the business calculates annual depreciation expense at a rate of 20% on the reducing balance basis. 
So what does that mean? It means we're going to multiply that 20% by the net book value of the non-current assets. If we go up in the table and take a look at our only non-current asset, that's the delivery van. We have the cost and we have the provision for delivery van. Now, like I just said, under the reducing balance method, we define the depreciation expense for the current year. We multiply the depreciation rate, which in this case is 20%, by the net book value of the asset. How do we find that book value? Simple. That's the cost of the asset minus the existing provision for depreciation. So we're going to find 20% of 60,000 minus 12,000. So I've included that working across here for you in the income statement. So 60 minus 12 will give us the 48. 20% of that 48 is 9,600. So that's all the expenses totaling 94,900 to give us a net income of 347 by subtracting the 94,9 from the 129,6. Net income 347. Okay, let's take a look at that balance sheet now. All right, so we head up name of the entity, connect, name of the statement, statement of financial position as at Jan 31st or 31st Jan 2012. Okay, so of course, we, I'm going to do this in order of permanence. So I'm going to start with the non-current assets. Now we only have one non-current asset, which is the delivery van. So we're going to see here under cost, we have 60,000, which was given to us in the question, but under accumulated depreciation, you're seeing 21,6. Now, where did that figure come from? If we look across again in the list of balances, we see that the provision for depreciation was 12,000. How did I get 21,6? Well, remember what I just did in the income statement, the, the second to last thing I did, apart from calculating that income, was I found the provision for depreciation for the current year, the depreciation expense for the current year under the reducing balance, 20% of the 48,000, I think it was, right? And that was 9,006. So that 96 has to be added to this 12,000 to get the new total for accumulated depreciation as at 31st Jan 2012. All right, now we have current assets. Now, across here, I'm seeing a couple. I'm seeing sales commission outstanding, that's accrued revenue. I'm also seeing a prepaid expense, insurance prepaid. And there was one more item. All right, how can I forget the bank item? Okay, so we're gonna put those three things in the current asset section, accrued revenue, prepaid expenses, and bank. That's gonna give us a subtotal of 137,300, which we add to the net book value of the current assets above to give us a total asset value of 175,700. Now, let's take a look at the liabilities. So, we had a non-current liability, a five-year bank loan of 50,000, so we are gonna put that in, right? Non-current liabilities, five-year bank loan, 50,000, and there was one accrued expense, one current liability, and accrued expense of rent. So we didn't have too many liabilities. So current liabilities, accrued expenses, rent. So now total liabilities will be the sum of the non-current liabilities and the current liabilities, 50 and three gives us 53, which we then subtract from our total assets. And that gives us our net asset value of 122,700. Now we're not done because remember, net assets must be financed by capital. According to the list of balances, the first item across in this list of balances was the capital figure of 88,000. And to that, we have to add net profit. So I'm just going to pull up the income statement very quickly here and show you that our net profit was 34,700. And there was no, there were no drawings or no drawings figure given to us. So all we have to do is add the 88,000, the capital balance at start to the net profit earned and we get 122,700. And that, as we could see there, is where the balance sheet balances and we are good to go. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question one from the May 2013 POA paper two. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you when I have some time. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm gonna put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some POA handles that might be useful to you. Anyway guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.